one e to all, okay. So to set the point plane, okay. It, it is the first phase for the system development life cycle. So if you can see, planning is to find out the scope of the problem and determine solution. So dia nak tahu mendalam ni apa benda tu and dia nak tahu solution sana kita nak buat uh, sesuatu benda tu ok so ni cata alih dia so first thing is create a project plan setiap project perlu ada plan so kita ada halat tuju, objektif, target So kita siapkan satu projek So the next is create a resource plan And next one is financial plan So kita perlu uh, Kita perlu Kira Apa yang kita perlukan Macam sumber kewangan This is the financial plan Kita perlu kira dengan detail Supaya kita tidak terlepas apa-apa yang berkaitan dengan kewangan Sebab so, kita akan menghadapi masalah Jika benda ini tak sepatutnya uh, Tak mengikut brand asal okay. Terusnya adalah kualiti So kita memerlukan kualiti yang cukup baik Untuk membuat projek yang berkualiti Planning yang baik menghasilkan uh, projek yang baik uh. Terusnya adalah Risk plan So Kita perlu menjaga apa yang akan berlaku Jika mana kita buat sesuatu ini Kita perlu menjaga Jangkaan awal Okay Seterusnya Acceptance plan Okay seterusnya Communication plan Cara kita nak uh, uh, Communication okay. So the, the next one is Procurement plan and the next one is uh, contract the supplier. So basically, the project ni kan kita memerlukan bahan untuk melaksanakan projek. Terutamanya projek-projek mega. So kita perlu uh, dealing with supplier. Uh, okay. So the next is perform a best review. Uh, the next phase lah kan? So uh, Okay <coughs> After planning uh, Ini soalan kan Soalan uh, Okay Roles involved lah <coughs> Siapa yang uh, Terlibat dalam planning Okay uh, Siapa so, yang um, pertama sekali Project Manager uh, Dia lah yang akan Conduct benda ni So uh, Kan kita ada cakap pasal supplier kan So kita perlu tahu Siapa juga sponsor dia kan uh, Lepas tu uh, Dia perlu ada Representative So This is like a business So it we call like business Representative Okay next Okay, I think Hazik has explained a lot of about planning, so I'm not going to uh, repeat what he said. So basically, after planning, after you create a project plan, and until perform phase review, usually the team will think, do we need to develop a new system, improve the current system, or leave the system as it is? Based on this tree, they will continue with the next phase, this is uh, design. The, the steps of planning usually start with review project requests, which begins with the steering committee receive a project request. Then this committee usually consists of five to nine people, include a mix of vice president, managers, non-management users, and IT personnel. This, this team of uh, people usually get requests from people how, how, the pro, uh, how the problem 
arise and usually planning we have to scope the problem and determine the solution of the problem and um, the definition the purpose of the first phase is to find out the scope of the problem and determine solutions same as that one resources cost type benefits and other items should be considered here also so we are talking about money also Planning is one of the crucial steps in creating a successful system. During this phase, you decide exactly what you want to do with the system, who uses the system, how you will use the system, what benefit does it give to the user of the plan, of the plan, uh, what is it? Plan software. So that's all for me. Uh, so software development life cycle. Uh, a lot of things I wanted to say was already said by Matt, but I'll just repeat some of the things. Uh, why we do planning phase is so that it is because planning increases the efficiency of an organization which in turn creates a successful system and also planning reduces risk because uh, before we plan, uh, before we implement or design something we already define the problems, the objectives and the resources such as personal cost and planning also utilizes the maximum efficiency with the, with the available time and resources. Software development life cycle. There are a few planning phases that you can do. One of it is schedule study. There's also other things such as discussion of methods, tools, tasks, resources, and user input. But I'm gonna go into schedule study. Ensure that we have deadlines to complete each task so that the company can function promptly. We need to keep track of dates and make them available for the customer to see. We need to determine if the website media will be able to provide this in time. Uh, the committees involved in the planning phase are the steering committee, decision making body in a company, decides how to divide resources and different projects and also the project team, which are people that work on a specific project. Okay, the system development sector. The first phase is planning. Mm. Begin with, with the study committee. It is decided on the problem size or order of an organization of order of business of an organization and manage the general course of its operation. Ada bagi kerjanya, ada chief executive officer, representative selection of management and internal internal auditor. I think it's the top of me. So, in conclusion, the four major, major activities of planning are review and approve the project request, prioritize the project request, allocate resources, and form a project development team. Usually, usually this is uh, done by the steering committee. Okay, the steering committee uh, in, involve uh, people starting from the vice, uh, the vice what? The vice president, manage, uh, managers, until the users. This is uh, crucial and one of the important steps because. 
without steering committee, we don't know what to do with the uh, system or software. So, like users, they can they can arise problems. The for 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 the president, the manage the managers and the engineers to do what they have to do to make it to make it better to make the system better. So usually steering committee, uh, the the top the top steering committee are chief executive officer, the CEO, the representative selection of management and internal auditor. These are the people that is like the building blocks of of designing before designing the the software planning. Okay, that's all for me.